Okay, so just a quick one for everyone tonight. Um, there has been some news, or at least some talk of some apparent news that is supposedly coming tomorrow. Yet again, the internet is in full swing with its hype and theory building. It's pretty fun to see, but I just want to kind of go over where this is coming from and kind of give everyone an idea of what to expect. So PlayStation posted an update on Twitter today announcing a showcase, a uh, state of play is what they call it. Uh, tomorrow night, and I'll read the tweet uh, to you now. So it says, tune in at 10pm GMT, which is British time, so it's 10pm tomorrow night for me, um, and around 2pm America time, I think. Could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, tune in for about 20 minutes of PS4 and PS5 first looks and updates with a special focus on games coming from uh, ja Japanese publishers. So yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow night, 20 minutes, new game reveals, uh, updates on games that are kind of in development, or at least maybe DLC, and it's a focus on Japanese publishers. So the names that come to my mind are, you know, Capcom, Square, and a few others. Okay. Now, of course, this has led to a lot of Resident Evil fans jumping to those main theories that always seem to pop up when there's an announcement. Either Resident Evil Village DLC, which is probably the most likely of the bunch, Resident Evil 4 remake a new game, and an update on Reverse, okay? They're the, they're the big ones that usually come up um, when people start talking about a Capcom reveal in terms of Resident Evil, okay? Now here's the thing. Japanese publishers is a very broad thing to say, okay? Yes, Capcom does come into that because they are a Japanese studio and they do publish games on PlayStation, of course. Um, and there is some evidence that would suggest that a Resident Evil announcement would be coming um, tomorrow. Um, I, th I think the biggest one that everyone's kind of latching to is that Village was actually announced by PlayStation, okay? It was first announced on their PlayStation 5 reveal event, I think, last year. And that was the first trailer we got. So they have worked with Capcom to announce a game before. Um, whether they do that again, I'm not sure. But people are kind of leading that to suggest that they do have some kind of, like, a, not partnership, but they're, they're very friendly with Capcom plus Legend now, people would say. So maybe Village DLC or whatever people think it's going to be will be promoted on the showcase tomorrow. Now I do want to say, you know, outside of whether there's an announcement tomorrow or not, I do feel as if Village DLC is the primary thing right now, okay? That needs to get revealed and released before uh, an RE4 or a new game, okay? And I think Reverse does come into that as well, because it was announced at the same time as Village, and, you know, people are still waiting for that. So, I, I, if there's one, it will probably be Village DLC, okay? I think, I think Resident Evil 4 is, we, we, we already know it's coming, okay? We already know it's coming at some point, but it's a big thing to announce in a 20 minute presentation, okay? Like... I really do see Resident Evil 4 as being like a Summer Games Fest or uh, E3 or the Game Awards type thing, okay? So I don't think that'll happen. Reverse could happen. Um, Village DLC could happen. A new game, not very likely just yet, but you know, it, it's, a good, it's a good thing to just kind of keep in mind what you're expecting from a 20 minute presentation, okay? Because keep in mind, this is a PlayStation event. Capcom may be present if they are, which is great. If they are there and they do announce Resident Evil, that's awesome. But they could be present in other ways. They have other, other games as well. But um, this is a PlayStation event, and there's plenty of Japanese studios that work very closely with PlayStation that maybe want to show their things too. Um, the one thing I can think of primarily is Final Fantasy 16. My best friend is obsessed with those games. And I think he would want to see an update on that game, because that is a PlayStation exclusive game, and it is a Japanese studio. So, there's a potential for that, there's potential for other things that maybe we've not seen before, and, you know, again, there's other studios that work with PlayStation that are Japanese, and just keep in mind that this isn't a Capcom event, it's a PlayStation only event, so there's going to be more studios than just the one involved. But with all that being said, do I want to see something? I would love it. <laughs> I would think... Seeing something now would be really, really cool, whatever it may be. Like, again, it's more likely that it would be Village DLC more than anything else, but anything would be good. Um, in terms of an actual Resident Evil announcement, we still have that March 22nd date, 
whether it's supposed to be a special announcement or a special, special message um, to kick off the 26th anniversary of Resident Evil. Um, and as luck would have it, I'm actually at home on that day. I'm not working that day, so I'll be covering whatever that is as soon as possible. And also, something aside from Resident Evil that's definitely being revealed in terms of more information this week that I'm really looking forward to is Dead Space Remake. There's a Dead Space Remake developer stream on Friday, hopefully talking more about the game and maybe showing a new trailer or some gameplay, and I'm really looking forward to that. Like, I can't wait to play that game. So I'll definitely be talking about that when that happens, but in terms of tomorrow, again, just kind of keep an open mind. Don't go into it thinking it's definitely going to show you something Resident Evil related, because it probably won't. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, then there's, there's still time, okay? Like, I can see the Resident Evil Village DLC releasing at the very least before May, or in May. Because that is a year since the game came out. Could be wrong, but I, I do see it happening before then. So that gives us a couple months. But um, that's going to do it for me for now. Um, I'm I apologize for my voice, I'm pretty tired. I'm had a long day, so my voice is kind of out of whack. Um, so I apologize for that. But yeah, let me know what you want to see from the showcase tomorrow. It doesn't have to be Resident Evil related, it could be anything. Um, there is a few rumors going around as well lately uh, about potential PlayStation acquisitions and stuff like that. Uh, that could be pretty interesting. So yeah, let me know what you want to see. I think it's probably going to be a mixed bag, to be honest. But hey, if we get Resident Evil news, that's pretty cool too. But uh, until then, I will leave you all with this video. Um, I'll be posting a video tomorrow anyway, just as normal. But if there is a Resident Evil announcement tomorrow, I will post something pretty quickly after that. Um, so if you do want to see that, if there is one, be sure to turn notifications on. But uh, yeah, until then, I'll catch you all tomorrow.